What's up my friends? Pixel Dan here. Wanted to do something fun today. After the last time I did a, a channel update where I showed off a bunch of the things that I had bought from a recent toy show, uh, I actually got a lot of requests saying that they'd like to see more videos like that. Um, I, I joked in the video that I felt like I was bragging about the things I had found, but I had a lot of people tell me that they really enjoyed seeing uh, some of the unique and vintage items I had picked up. So I just got a bunch of new stuff that I'm pretty excited about. I thought I'd go ahead and do another one of these look at my stuff kind of videos just to, you know, show some of the stuff off. Uh, some of the stuff is just so cool I felt it deserved to be on camera just to at least show it off to the world. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll see if this is something you guys want to see regularly or not. We'll just see. Every now and then uh, I come into a nice haul of cool toys, vintage toys, and sometimes it is fun just to show it off. Just especially when it's like rare or, or unique pieces that people don't even know exist. So we're going to do that. Uh, I got some really great stuff from some cool stores. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with this batch here. Now the stuff I got in this box came from, it's a Blue Jay store. If you guys ever seen the BlueJay.com shops, uh, BlueJay.com slash MusicMan941 is the store address. Um, and this gentleman's actually a viewer of mine. He actually enjoys my reviews. And he sent me a link to his store and said, hey, check out this new store I just opened up. I got some pretty cool things that you might like. And it turns out he was quite right. He definitely had some things that I liked and was interested in. Uh, this first piece here that I'm pulling out is actually a pretty unique little set. Um, any of you guys out there remember the shirt tails? It was a cartoon from the 80s. Uh, basically featured these little animals that had these shirts on and like the shirts would actually flash words with what they were feeling or go along with what they were saying. Fun little cartoon. I used to watch it when I was a kid. Uh, there actually was a line of toys uh, produced by LJN. These are little PVC figures of the Shirt Tales characters that I picked up from the store. Uh, I thought this was really cool because you don't see toys from Shirt Tales very often. In fact, I don't think I've ever come across these out in the wild before. Uh, so this set here that I picked up includes four of the Shirt Tales characters in PVC figure form. And then what's even cooler is it, they go along with this playset. Check this out. It's like a treehouse playset. Very cool stuff. You can see on the outside there, we got a neat little uh, spinning flower over here on the side, little ladder, and then you kind of fold it around to the inside. You got some great detailing on there. You got the little swing up top, just some areas where you can display the characters, little record machine jukebox, but it's definitely just a fun little unique play set. Uh, like I said, I don't ever see Shirt Tales toys, ever. I don't think I've ever run across anything like this in the wild. So I was pretty excited that he had this in stock at his store. I think it's a really cool, unique piece. Um, Stina thought it was super cute. She loved it. <laughs> um, I'm just really a sucker for 80s toys like this, especially when they're a little more obscure like the Shirt Tales are here. So very cool little set there. If you are a fan of 80s animation and stuff, this is a fun little set to seek out and check out. It's a really cool little play set. Um, Kind of staying along that same line of cool, like, uh, 80s stuff. Uh, the other things I picked up from him are just a personal favorite of mine. Uh, always loved Teddy Ruxpin as a kid. I, I had a Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, you know, he's the talking bear that you put the tapes in. He told you stories for anybody who's not uh, aware. He was very, I loved him. And there was a cartoon series that went along with it, and I thought that was really cool. And they actually produced a line of action figures of the Teddy Ruxpin characters. Uh, this is something else that you don't really run into very often these days but he had some in a store. I used to have these as a kid, so I got instantly nostalgic and I picked them up. We got a Grubby, we've got a Teddy, I got Newton Gimmick, got a Grunge. Uh, we got Bounder, who was always my favorite. Love Bounder, I, I had this figure as a kid. This is one of those ones I used to just carry around with me all the time. I don't know why, I just thought he was that cool. Uh, and then Mudblub. So very, very cool little uh, assortment of action figures. Like I said, I'm a sucker for all this, these kind of figures, especially from 80s animation and toy lines, stuff like that. And uh, I used to have these as a kid, so I had that instant nostalgic connection. So check out the store if you guys want to. He had some really neat and unique little things in stock there. Uh, I'll have the link to his store in this video's description so you can head on over there and check it out. Uh, uh, the next things that I actually want to show off is an assortment 
of amazingly cool vintage Masters of the Universe items. Uh, these are all really unique items. Uh, some of these things you guys may not have even known existed. I didn't even know about some of these things till I got a hold of them. So all this stuff comes from my good friend Gino, who runs NerdRageToys.com. Uh, NerdRageToys.com is actually a sponsor of Pixel-Dan.com. Uh, they have an amazing selection of vintage toys and action figures. They are a great source for filling in some gaps in your collection. So again, the link will be in this video's description if you want to check the store out. So let me show you some of the things I got here. First of all, I was always a fan of the roleplay kits, the Master Zeners roleplay kits. As a kid, I had the He-Man set, which had a shield and like this big yellow sword. Well, this here comes from the Skeletor roleplay kit. Check this out. So I've got a shield. It's very similar to He-Man's, but you can see it's got a little Skeletor face in the middle. It's got little straps on the back to hold on to. <laughs> I got the cool little Skeletor loincloth. Unfortunately, the belt is uh, too small to fit around my waist. Definitely meant for a kid, but still cool nonetheless. And then it also comes with this tiny little blue Havoc staff. So now I can run around to Skeletor. <laughs> yes! And I can try to capture Castle Grayskull. But very cool stuff. I love little things like this. Uh, you don't run across the roleplay kits as often anymore. So that is really, really cool. I wish I still had my He-Man sword and shield from when I was a kid, but I don't, unfortunately. So going right along with the roleplay stuff, I have two Halloween costume sets. Now tell me if you guys remember costumes like this. I have He-Man and I have Orko. Very cool. Now, Halloween costumes back in the 80s were a lot different than the Halloween costumes you see these days. Because most of the time when you had licensed costumes, this is what they um, consisted of. You had these vinyl smock type things that you would wear that just had a picture of the character that you were being for Halloween. Didn't even look like the costume they were wearing. As you can see, this one's just like a, this vinyl smock with Orko on it. There is a yellow, just a plain yellow pair of vinyl pants to go along with it. I don't know, you know, because Orko wore yellow pants. And then it had the plastic face mask. Uh, so I got the Orko face mask. The little strap is broken, but you know, I'm wearing my Orko mask. <laughs> Fun stuff. And then there's the He-Man one. This one doesn't have the strap either, unfortunately, but you know. Now I'm the most powerful man in the universe. And uh, oh, the He-Man one's kind of more fun. I actually hadn't opened this one yet. Look at this. This one, the vinyl smock actually looks like He-Man, complete with furry underwear. Oh, oh snap. I bet I can't fit into this, but boy, do I kind of want to try. <laughs> no, there's no way. The pants are attached to it. There's no way I'll get my legs in there, but that is hilarious. Good stuff. Good stuff. So that is just a fun, unique collectible to have in my collection. I do love the mask. That's great. All right. So costumes are cool. Role play kits are cool. But now I'm going to show you guys some really fun collectibles. So let's start with this. This is the Masters of the Universe Picture Play Light. Uh, comes from a company called Janex, who I've never actually heard of before. Uh, but as you can see from the box, Basically, this is an off-brand kind of light bright device. It's the same concept as light bright, uh, but it's got Masters of the Universe themed um, sheets in there. Uh, now, this is interesting because I know there were actual Masters of the Universe light bright pages. I know I had those as a kid. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, so it's interesting that they've also got their own Masters of the Universe branded version of the light bright that's not actually official light bright uh, but here i'll open this up just to kind of show you because it's kind of neat it's a little different than light bright one thing that's great is it does have all the little pegs in here i don't have batteries in it unfortunately so i can't test the light uh everything back then took like d batteries isn't that weird like d batteries. i think this is actually c's but still nothing takes c or d's these days um but what's really cool about this is that the little sheets that it comes with actually features some really cool artwork on there. Um, classic Masters of the Universe artwork. And if you remember Light Bright, they basically had patterns that you put the pegs on and then you made the picture. On these, it's more like there's a picture in the middle that's full color and then it's areas around it where you put the, um, the pieces. It's color coded around uh, for what pegs you're supposed to put in there. So the pegs basically encircle the picture that's on there. But I do like it because there's some really cool, unique pieces of old artwork from Masters of the Universe on there. So this Tila, Skeletor on Panthor, 
just one of He-Man himself. And then the one that I've got on the actual machine, I actually put all the pegs on just because I was bored. I wanted to do it. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. And it's got that great vintage mini comic artwork on there, which I love. Uh, so now I just need to get some batteries for this thing to light it up because I might actually find a way to like display this with that image on it and light it up. That's a kind of a, just a fun little collectible to have. So very unique, something I have never seen before. So that is really cool. Uh, it did also come with a bunch of blank pages too. So you can make your own pictures with it. So that is pretty cool. Very, very fun little unique piece, like I said. Just something you don't ever see. So, along those same lines, these next few are super fun. You ready for this? Alright. First up, it's the He-Man talking toothbrush. The He-Man talking toothbrush. How many of you out there remember the talking toothbrushes. There were lots of them in the 80s and the early 90s. They came out with this kind of stuff with those battery operated vibrating toothbrushes and they had the little figures on there. Uh, this is really cool. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna show this to you guys. This is great. Get this guy out of the package here. Check that out. So it basically is almost like an actual He-Man action figure standing up there, but it's different. It's not articulated. Uh, it, it's a different sculpt, but it's very close. It's the same size as a Masters of the Universe action figure, which is kind of neat. Uh, but you can see he's standing on Castle Grayskull. Very cool theme. Uh, you got the little toothbrush that he's grasping onto, which we can take out here. See? There's got the extra brush up here. This is really fun right here. The little sword on the shield. I brush today, you mark what day you brush. Like, oh, I brush my teeth today, so I'll mark it off. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Uh, but this is, this is where it gets really great. So there's this little red button down here. And I did put batteries in this. So check this dude out, ready? I'm He-Man, I'm strong as can be, and I brush my teeth with regularity. Once in the morning, and once at bedtime, and after each meal, so my teeth will shine. You'll remember this saying if you rehearse, and you'll be like the masters of the universe. Amazing. I hope you guys heard that good. That is awesome. A cool little limerick straight from He-Man's mouth about importance of brushing your teeth. I love it. I love it. Such a crazy, unique piece to add to my Masters of the Universe shelf. Fantastic. Very, very cool stuff. All right. One final thing to show you guys today. This is my personal favorite. This is one I didn't know about, and I've wanted to get one forever, so I was stoked to finally get my hands on this. Check this out. This is the Castle Grayskull alarm clock. Look at that. Sweet box there. Castle Grayskull alarm clock. He-Man and Skeletor up on the towers. Let's pull this thing out so I can show this to you. This is a really, really cool piece. By the way, this was $17 at Sears back in the 80s. <laughs> All right. This is the Castle Grayskull clock. Look at that thing. How cool is that? It looks just like the, it's the same style as the playset. So it looks almost like the same sculpt. And it's all the way around there. So you can see, you got the same designs on the back as we saw on the actual playset itself. The drawbridge opens up. The clock is in there. I actually do have the clock set. Haha, -ha, it works great. Got the little clock in there. So uh, we can make the alarm go off. And when the alarm goes off, it actually triggers the little He-Man and Skeletor popping out of the top. So let me see if I can get that running for it here. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Also, the eyes light up red. Yeah, they're lit up. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but look, I love that. So we have the alarm going off. He-Man and Skeletor are up on the top of the tower. You're like, oh, shut up, alarm. You push this thing on top. He-Man and Skeletor go away. The alarm goes off. <laughs> amazing that's so so cool this is an amazing piece and i'm so excited that it still works you have no idea that is the coolest thing ever so this is for sure going somewhere in my house probably my office and it's going to be a clock <laughs> in my office because this is just such a cool unique piece this is an awesome piece to add to my collection i love this so there you go guys that's my stuff I hope you liked looking at it. Uh, again, I want to thank my friends, my, uh, the awesome people at nerdragetoys.com and bluejay.com slash musicman941 for having some amazing things. Uh, again, the links to both of those stores are in this video description if you want to check them out, see if they've got anything that you might like to add to your collection. Uh, very cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at it with me. Like I said, some of these things just really deserved to be put on camera, like this and this. 
So cool. In fact, I might do standalone videos on these just to really show off the little features on them a little closer. Um, just because I feel stuff like this really needs to be put online so people can see it. Because it is just too cool to not be known. <laughs> Very cool stuff. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this, uh, please consider subscribing. If you haven't already, just hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my videos, any of my toy reviews. And while you're at it, head on over to pixel-dan.com. Check out all the content I got there. Until next time.